Today I am here at DC Pianos and I'm actually in the kind of the back room here with a piano that they're actually working on rebuilding and they actually let me just come in and play it and do a video on it which I think is really really awesome. The folks here at DC Pianos are really really great and one of the things that they do is so awesome is they actually go and rebuild these old vertical grand pianos. Now this here is a Steinway & Sons K. I don't know the exact year but probably somewhere in the early 1900s this piano was originally made and it from the looks of it as you can tell DC Pianos is coming through and rebuilding the action to make it play really Really, really nice once again. Now the strings here are actually original. I believe the bass strings definitely are. I believe all of these are as well. DC probably is going to get around to replacing those on many of their pianos. They actually do put brand new bass strings on these pianos, but at this point in time in the rebuilding process, they just simply haven't gotten around to it. But what they have done is rebuild the action here. And one thing I love is these magenta back check felts. I've never seen anything like it before, and I absolutely love it. I don't know where they got these, but I absolutely love the magenta back check felts. I think it's absolutely hilarious and it's actually kind of pretty too. It's really nice. Also the gold uh, hammer rail here is really nice as well. Okay, it's supposed to move forward like that to move the hammers closer to the strings when you hit the left pedal, which is disconnected at the moment because as I said, they're rebuilding. There are no pedals. Originally there would have been two. In fact, the whole bottom panel there of the piano is missing. So I don't have any pedals, but neither did Bach back in the day. He had organ pedals, but he didn't have sustained pedals on his keyboard instruments. So I'm going to play some Bach music on this because Bach didn't have pedals, this piano doesn't have pedals either, and so it will work just fine. So one thing I wanted to get uh, one thing I wanted to get out of the way before I play some music on it is something that people often will bring up on my channel, and that is that vertical grands don't exist. Vertical grands aren't a thing. The word vertical grand is a misnomer, blah blah blah. People often will come on and say that a vertical grand is not a thing. All upright pianos are uprights regardless of the height. But I wanted to mention two things here, and the first one is that on the harp of Steinway uh, vertical grands, it actually says verti grand right here. And so that is one thing that we can we can tell that this is a vertical grand. And another thing that really defines a vertical grand is the string length as well as the height. Now we measured the strings here on the base end of this Steinway K, and the strings are roughly about 50 inches long. Now we measured the bass strings on a small baby grand Yamaha from maybe 1973 thereabouts, and the bass strings on that were 46 inches long. So this this piano has longer bass strings than a baby grand piano. Of course, a concert grand has much longer bass strings, but the idea of a vertical grand is to take up less space than a baby grand does, because when someone buys a baby grand, they're not buying it for the incredible bass qualities, they're buying it to save space and to fit into a small corner of the house to let themselves practice without taking up half the house like a concert grand would. And the vertical grand idea takes up even less space than that and still has a wonderful sound, especially when the panels are missing here. The bottom panel's missing, the top panel's missing, so it really lets the sound come out just like a real grand piano would. Now actually, this is actually a relatively short vertical grand. If we take a look here at this one that's also being rebuilt, we can see that it's even taller and the bass strings are probably more like 52, 53 inches long instead of simply 50. If you take a look at the top here of this piano compared to the top of this piano, it's a good maybe four, three inches taller. So that piano over there, I don't actually know the make of it. I'm not seeing one on the uh, harp, but whatever make this is, this is an even taller piano and this definitely would fall into the category of being a vertical grand. You can see that they're doing all kinds of cool repairs. We've got new hammer shanks that are being glued. I'm not going to touch anything. There's a serial number there. It says 1894 and then also the serial number is 41914. So that's kind of cool. So this is what DC pianos will often do. They will come by and rebuild all of these awesome vertical grand pianos that many people would normally neglect and let fall into disrepair and end up sounding absolutely horrible. Now, one thing that's kind of cool is even though this is the original strings, if we play the bass here, actually has a pretty nice sound. Now, when we get original, str I mean, new strings on here, it will sound amazing. I've played some of their rebuilds that have brand new strings and they sound absolutely incredible. There's a video on my channel of a Borden and, Borderman and Gray piano that they were restoring a while back. It's now finished and it's in someone's home, but that piano had brand new strings when I found it and it was absolutely wonderful. It sounded incredible and I loved it. You might want to go check that out if you want to. But this one here, uh, let, let's get around to playing some Bach now. I've talked for playing long enough. Let's play some Bach music on this Steinway K and hopefully you guys enjoy it.
So hopefully you enjoyed hearing that old hymn that was reharmonized by Bach at some point in history. It has a really nice sound and it really brings out the warm sound of pianos. I'm finding that even though it was originally written for an organ, like a church organ, a pipe organ, it sounds great on piano and it really brings out the warm, lovely qualities of the mid-range of a piano. It sounds absolutely wonderful. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little review and a kind of a look into the uh, kind of the behind the scenes of a piano store, particularly DC pianos because they rebuild all these pianos. And again, it's so cool that they do that because these pianos really are fantastic. A lot of the times when you see them, they're old, they're beat up, they're ugly, they're gross, they're missing strings. But DC Pianos comes along and fixes all of that. They put brand new strings in it, they put brand new acting parts in it, and they make it play just like it did when it was brand new, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And it's a, it's a wonderful look into what these pianos used to be and what they really should be today. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you want, you can go check out my channel. I've got lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, clavichords, harpsichords, all kinds of cool stuff like that, all kinds of neat keyboard instruments. So if that sounds cool, you might wanna go check all that out. And if you want to subscribe, thank you very much. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell to be uploaded, uh, to be notified of all of my future uploads so that you can then check them out as soon as they release. All kinds of cool reviews and tutorials on how to play the piano. That's something recent I'm doing as of late. So if that sounds cool, you might wanna subscribe, hit that bell icon. And if you do that, thank you very much. and I'll see See you in the next video. Goodbye.